you got <laughs> girls, ladies? Yeah. All right, you may know our next guest from killer flicks like Tombstone, Days of Thunder, and most recently, Jumper. And now he's taking the lead in the film This Man's Life, which premieres this weekend at the Orlando Film Festival. Please welcome to the Daily Buzz, Michael Rooker. Nice Hi, to Mike. have you on. Thank you, good to be here. All right, so tell me about This Man's Life. Uh, well, uh, this man's life uh, is about a, a, a gentleman who goes on a train ride and uh, it becomes very magical and very strange and, and crazy and uh, he's off to his uh, to settle his father's estate and uh, crazy things start happening on the train. Oh, is that right? So we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I, I'm assuming this is an independent film, right? Extremely independent. Okay. Yeah. Now tell us, I mean, you've been in some really big yeah. films. The biggest difference between doing an independent film than maybe a major blockbuster like some of the other ones you've done. <laughs> uh, outside of the catering and eating sandwiches <laughs> and, uh, and next to lobster. The trailer is smaller, I understand, right? right? Outside I of mean, that sort you of know, thing. The limo the doesn't pick you up. Right. Right. Well, the example on, uh, on This Man's Life, we, uh, we, we didn't have a trailer. We just hung out on the train and uh, used the uh, men's room. So, <laughs> well, everybody took, took, the train. took times changing, you know. Yeah. yeah no, it, it, the, the small ones sometimes are just a little bit more uh, uh, small and, right. and, and just uh, the people are just a little, little bit cozy, more friendly. You know, crazy, real comfortable, cozy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cozy is a good word. I, imagine it's the organic where, you know, maybe more ideals are able actually brought together because you don't have a conglomerate of people actually making decisions. Well, you also I don't assume, have right? money. You have no money, so you have to use your imagination a little more. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, the big ones uh, have a lot more money to waste and uh, spend, <laughs> so, which is good. Usually it's not on the actor, so. That's okay. <laughs> now, is this your first project with Stars North, the, the film company behind this? My design? first one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Todd Thompson is the writer and uh, director of the piece. So, very nice guy. Neat stuff. Had a good, had now, a good now, this film kind of give folks an understanding of like the difference between uh, the, when you do an independent film. Obviously, you got to kind of push it yourself, going to different cities and that sort of thing. But kind of give us an idea of how you have to do as far as promotion goes, of getting a movie out and getting it known and getting it seen. You do whatever you possibly can. You know, you, you uh, uh, send out flyers if you have to. Oh, is that right? You know, st this is a great coup here, being on your show, you know, and telling people about the show. So thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, that goes both ways, for sure. <laughs> it's an honor to have you in the house. Well, we're going to keep Michael uh, here with us, and we're going to go to commercial and come back. He's going to stay with us and talk to us about some other projects that he's working on. Uh, and if you'd also like to know more, go to our website at dailybuzznow.com. Click on the tab that says for more information. All righty, guys. A little bit more craziness coming around. Maybe we'll even show some more clips of Michael as well. Don't go anywhere. You are watching the Daily Buzz. Morning news, morning fun right here. Hey, welcome back to The Buzz. Six minutes till the top there. We are joined by actor Michael Rooker on The Daily Buzz this morning. Yeah. And we've got a caption contest going on. So, Michael, we're going to test your caption genius here. Do you have anything for this one right here? Uh, yeah, uh, decongestant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, decongestant. Back in decongestant. I like that. <laughs> well, you at home can uh, actually join in on that. Go to our website, dailybuzznow.com, and click on that picture, and you can submit your caption. Uh, Michael Rooker, uh, starting in this movie, it's called This Man's Life. Train ride a movie, if you will. Um, I wouldn't call it a road trip movie, though, right? Would you? No, no, no. It's a train ride movie uh, to nowhere. To nowhere. Yeah, we're, we're riding to nowhere. We're hey, listen. Here in the Daily Buzz, we know all we about. Know, yeah. This is like a train ride. Is it train ride or train wreck to nowhere? <laughs> no, it's actually pretty good. Okay. There's okay. no wrecks, but it's kind of fun. It's sort of, sort of a miracle movie. Okay, awesome. Um, well, you know, we're all fans of Entourage mm -hmm. and uh, being an actor and doing this independent film and also doing big ones. How close to life is that movie, Entourage, uh, the TV show Entourage, to, to what really goes on in Hollywood? Oh, it's exactly the same. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had many of those encounters, yeah. Oh, oh, Are sure. you a fan of, of the show? Of Entourage? Which show is that? Entourage. <laughs> Is that a show? Is it like a <laughs> oh, wow. It's not like a TV. Right? It's on the TV. There's cameras <laughs> following him around all the time. Oh, really? Never <laughs> ask an actor about a project he's not involved in. Exactly. 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 Right. That was an awesome show. I love it, actually. Yeah. Here's cool. you stopping by late night tonight. If you are tuning in to Dave Letterman, Artie Lang is on, Christian Slater on Craig Ferguson, Robin Thicke performing on Jimmy Kimmel, Joy Behar on Leno, and Ricky Gervais on Conan. Cool. 
We'll stay with us more with Michael Rooker when we come back. More news and weather as well. Right now, it's about three minutes to the top of the hour, and you are watching the Daily Buzz. Go to our website, yeah. dailybuzznow.com, to find out more about Michael's new movie and the film festival here in Orlando, as well as our caption contest. And speaking of Orlando, one yes. last chance oh, to plug the, the Big and Tall Comedy Big Tour. Tall comedy tour. Mm -hmm. Altamont Springs Bonkers, that's to tonight that's and tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome yeah, to come you're by, welcome Michael. To come. And the Orlando Film Festival. And that's the right. Boy, going there's going right. all kinds of things going yeah, on. Well, three minutes past the hour, we are back. Actor Michael Rooker has been hanging out with us all morning. We've been chatting to him about his latest gig, starring in the film This Man's Life, which premieres this weekend right here at the Orlando Film Festival. Welcome back, Michael. Thank you for Woo! having me. Now, so This Man's Life, unfortunately, not an autobiographical tale. It's not about no, this No, 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 it's not. It's a little short. It's about 35 minutes long. It's painless. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get some people down there to see it on, on Saturday. So. Now, are you playing a good guy in this movie or a bad guy? Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I, I think it's a, a, about a guy who uh, redeems himself in the end. How about that? Okay. It's good and bad. Okay. Good and bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, how about, you know, this is sort of a, a, you know, a standard actor's question, but I love this. Do you enjoy playing, because you've done a lot. I was, I was just telling you during the break, looking through your IMDb, <laughs> you've done everything. And, I mean, do you enjoy playing the bad guy or the good guy, which is more fun? Oh, well, it's way more fun playing the, the guy that uh, does all the... Nasty, nasty, naughty. Okay. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody okay. says. Everybody, everybody says it's a lot more fun to play the jerk, oh, right? Well, come on, yeah, so. you can get away with it too. You get to, you get paid for it. <laughs> you know, absolutely. Look at it. What are your favorite like villain roles? What would it be? Favorite My, bad guy roles. Ooh, 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 bad, bad, bad guy role. Really bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, my very first movie, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Yeah, he, he was, was bad. He was really he beyond He was really bad. bad. <laughs> beyond bad. Yeah, where do you go from there yeah, when you, you really start a true. serial killer? Well, uh, <laughs> when you're uh, like a jerk in a dating movie <laughs> after that, I mean, come on. Of course, Rowdy Burns, is uh, he wasn't bad, but he was really tough, kind of a uh, uh, tough, uh, uh, competitive driver, so. Yeah. How'd you get into acting? Was it something you always wanted to do growing up as a kid? No, not really. I was a late bloomer. I, I got into it when I, when I was about 22. Really? Uh, uh, Audition for this theater school in Chicago. It's it's called the Theater School of uh, DePaul University. Back then it was called the Goodman School of Drama, and I uh, did a three-year uh, thing there. You get asked back every year. It's kind of it's still going on. It's a good school. Was there uh, something that inspired you? Was it a performance or a movie that kind of said, "Hey, I want to be an actor"? You know what? Um, I don't think it was one thing. I think I just think it was uh, you're. You're kind of itching to do it all your life, really, but I never really pursued that kind of uh, artistic endeavor and stuff. And so I just um, finally uh, one day just said, forget it. I'm going to I'm gonna just do it. I'm going to give it a whack. And doing a short film like This Man's Life, a lot easier than doing a full-length feature, right? You work about half the time. No, dude, it was harder. It was way, way harder, way harder. You're working all the time. You know, even though it's maybe seven days or a very quick shoot, it's a little short, but you're, you're there, you know, almost 24-7. All right. Well, make sure you check it out if you can, especially those of you here in Orlando, the Orlando Film Festival, mm -hmm. uh, showcasing some of the best new talent out there That's and right. uh, stuff that uh, you really want to check out. Michael's so. new movie, This Man's Life. For more information on Michael or the Orlando Film Festival, you can log on to our website, dailybuzznow.com. Michael, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. So nice to All have right. you here. Thanks, guys. All right, Kia.